Hello there, today we're gonna be looking quickly at the icons of the realms, adult brass or brass if you prefer the American pronunciation dragon. Uh, the box contains one pre-painted miniature, here is some artwork of the render and without further ado let's just open the huge box and see how cool this miniature, well miniature, it's a monster, is. So let's take him out of the plastic prison to take a look at the mini itself. Looking at the details, the brass dragon looks absolutely amazing. And I really like the combination of different metallic colors with a little bit of blue and pink and bronze tint just to create a kind of natural looking transition between the colors and a bit more as well cooler reflection effect especially on the wings and since you might not need all the metallic dragon miniatures you might as well use this one as a gold dragon and without any problem as a lighter version of a copper dragon because their wings and especially the uh, the sections on the tail look very similar uh, within both of these races of the metallic dragons. And let's take a closer look as well at the beautiful head sculpt because I think it looks really really good. The paint job is just sufficient I would say not something overall detailed but if you place it on a table and do not put put too much attention uh, towards the face of the dragon. I think it looks very, uh, very good. And the overall pose of the adult brass dragon looks really, really stunning. So here you can see how the adult brass dragon scales against some of his friends. Uh, this is the adult, or this is the large uh, bronze dragon. Uh, that was made approximately like 10 years ago. Here you have the Dragonel from the Fisben's Treasury of Dragons. This is the young adult white dragon from the Rime of the Frost Maiden series, and this is the Jabberwock uh, from the Wild Beyond the Witchlight. This is pretty much it. So if you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you are new over here, consider subscribing. And the final note. Should you get this one? Well, if you're a fan of metallic dragons or if you do not own any adult metallic dragon, unlike me, until very recently, I'm very happy uh, to enhance my collection with this one because I think the pose, the sculpt and the overall paint job on this one is really, really nice. And look at the reflections of the light on the different metallic colors. So until next time everybody, stay safe, take care, bye bye, and don't forget to have fun.